Hi everyone, Sif Alchemist here. First of all, thank you very much for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I address occult knowledge, I offer tarot readings, and many other occult sciences that I share with everyone in this channel. So if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about embracing darkness, but not necessarily embracing darkness because I have other videos that address the subject. You can find them in my playlists. I even have a book that I wrote called How to Embrace Your Darkness. You can find it at sifalchemist.com. But today I'm going to talk about what to expect when embracing your darkness or what are the challenges and the difficulties, the obstacles you might find when embracing your darkness. Darkness is the other half, it's the 50% that people are ignoring. Most people will say that darkness is bad. This has been twisted for millennia, for thousands of years by religious dogma. And I do address this and explain it in many of my other videos. But for the people who already are embracing their darkness, what are the challenges that you might encounter? The benefits of embracing darkness are very powerful. First of all, you're going to start knowing who you are. You're going to come to the realization of understanding your true nature. You will know where your soul comes from. You will know what you can do and what you cannot do. You're not going to fake it. You're not going to try to just be part of the herd. A lot of people claim, for example, that they're light workers. But their true nature is not light. And people don't even understand what light is. If I ask you right now, just a simple question, explain to me what light is. You don't know how to explain it. What are you going to say, love? You're going to say love, love is light? Or you're going to say being kind is light? Or you're going to say that your lamp, your LED lamp, that's in your room, you're going to say that's what light is? Or you're going to say that sun is light? Well, the most natural thing that's close to light, to the physical light and as above, so below, that we have in this physical reality is the sun. And the sun is fire. It's the element of fire. So... Are you going to say that light is fire? Is the element of fire? Hmm. The truth of the matter is that no one knows what light is. People, they follow concepts, archetypes, ideas without using their minds to ask the questions or to understand what is this thing that I'm following? What is light? People say love and light all the time, but when I ask them what is light, they don't know what to say. They're speechless most of the time. Okay, sure, you're, you might say that's love, you might, you might say that's peace. But even with those concepts, how would you explain them? How do you explain love and peace? How? The only way to explain light is by using dark. You're going to say it's the opposite of dark. That's probably the best explanation, meaning that dark is important. Meaning that if you don't understand darkness, if you don't embrace it, you will never know what light is. Never. Never. And the people who always say that dark is something bad, and oh, I'm embracing my darkness, that means, oh, the bad things I did before, that's not what darkness is. So, without veering off, too much from what I'm trying to address in this video, I'm going to come back to the challenges of embracing darkness. Once you embrace your darkness, you become powerful. And you become confident. And nothing becomes scary to you. One of the most beneficial things of embracing darkness is the fact that you get rid of fear. Fear becomes an illusion. It becomes something so just um, faded in your life. 
I'm not scared of anything. I'm not scared of death. I'm not scared of spirits, of ghosts, of demons, let alone humans. Nothing scares me. Nothing. Because I know who I am. I'm embracing my darkness because I come from darkness. But the challenges you might come across once you get to that state is that the first challenge is that you're you're going to find that no one can relate to you because everyone is following the herd. Now you're unique, you're special. Your friends might not understand you anymore. They might not speak the same language because you're at diff uh, you're you're at a higher different level. You're almost reaching your higher self at all times. You're operating from a higher self level. And the people around you, your coworkers, your family members, your best friends, they just might not resonate or relate to you anymore because you're so different right now. When you start saying things that I'm not scared of anything, when you start saying things that um, I can talk to demons and spirits, I can assure you that many people are not going to relate. Because now you're already embracing your darkness. You're understanding who you are. Maybe you realize you're a witch. And now you're going to say it publicly out loud. And people around you, they're not going to like that. They're going to try to avoid you. They're going to try to not talk to you. It's okay. Good riddance. You don't need them. Trust me. But that's a challenge because you're going to find yourself alone. But here's the thing. That's a challenge, that's an obstacle. But you need to know that being alone in itself is a powerful thing. You have no distractions. You are not affected by the stupid rules of humanity. You're not affected by the weakness and fear of others because you're spending most of the time by yourself. So you are in direct contact with spirit, with the underworld. There's no interference. When you're surrounded with people all the time, there's always interference. Because people are always projecting, they're throwing at you, they're always imprinting on you. Whatever word you want to use, they're always putting their energy, they're, they're casting it, they're projecting it onto you. And you might be powerful, but that still represents an interference. When you're by yourself, there is no interference. You can hear spirit clearly. When you do a ritual, it works perfectly. When you channel using tarot, the channeling is impeccable because there's no distractions. So the less filth and distractions you have in your life, the better it is. But that's challenging for people who are always relying on these connections. So embracing your darkness is going to lead you to becoming more alone. And you might even find yourself in events and parties with a dozen of people or more. And you still feel alone because no one understands what you understand. No one sees what you see because Embracing darkness, meaning that you can see the underworld, you can feel it, you can sense it. You can see things that people are not seeing. Maybe in that party, you are sensing the spirit in the corner and you can even hear it. And no one else does. And another obstacle or another challenge is that not only you might find yourself alone, but you're going to start having these kind of uh, um, hateful situations if you start sharing too much of who you are. Because one of the wisest things that a master can do is to remain silent in certain situations. When you get to embrace your darkness, you reach this, this euphoric level of strength that it's hard to, that it is so hard to explain that I rarely talk about it in my videos because it's just, you know it only when you know it. It's hard to explain. 
And when you look at other people with their fears, you just feel like you're so distant from them. And people sense that. They can, they can sense that this person is, there's something off about them because they don't understand the power you're holding right now. So you might get hate for no reason. You might get rejection for no reason because you become intimidating. Embracing your darkness makes you so intimidating that people are going to start rejecting you, hating you, not offering you things, just backing off. You're going to only find very, very, very few people who are wanting to understand what is this thing that you have? What is it? And it's embracing darkness. I share what I share online because I'm reaching the world because the only way to find similar people is to reach worldwide. Because if I relied on just trying to reach my environment that was around me many years ago, I wouldn't have found anything or anyone. And I tried. I'm speaking from experience. I tried and there was nothing. The only way to find similar uh, people who can either relate or understand a little bit of what you're talking about is to use this tool which is called the internet use it to reach the world so these things that I'm that I'm mentioning these obstacles can be really hard for some people because they can change your life upside down it's not gonna be easy Especially if you're engaged in a relationship with someone you might have, you know, you might be married, you might have kids, you might be living with your parents. That becomes even harder because now you're, you're, you're like an alien in the middle of a human family. You literally become like an alien because everything in you is different. And when you start speaking about being fearless, some people start explaining the minutia of their fears about how they were scared of their boss or oh, they were scared of the person who, I don't know, like that they met at the bus station or the, like people. When you look at these, you just can't even relate anymore. You, you can't even hear these things anymore. Because embracing darkness takes you to such a high level of confidence that you become your own God. Are you ready to become your own God? Are you willing to become your own God? I talk about this all the time, becoming your own God. Yet, yet everyone in the comments and from other places want to worship deities that's how embracing darkness is so powerful embracing your darkness makes you a god not worship a god and the proof that many people still don't understand embracing darkness is that no matter how much I explain it or talk about it, people still worship. They still feel inferior. When I talk about embracing darkness, I mean you're at the level of Anubis. You're at the level of any other deity, of Poseidon, of Thoth. Are you willing to believe that? And are you ready for that? That's what comes with embracing darkness. And it is more so on a soul level than on a physical level. On a physical level, you might look like a mere human being. But I'm talking about an energetic, spiritual level. As a human, I look like a normal human. In the spirit realm, the things I can do are limitless. You can present me with the most scary, powerful entity out there. 
and I'll burn them to ashes in the spirit realm. That's what embracing darkness makes you. It makes you a god. And that amount of power that comes is hard to control sometimes. You have to really learn how to tone it down. And I find being in a human body is very helpful to tone down that power. It could be even the reason why I came here in this reincarnation as a human being, is to tone down that power, to tone it down. Because balance at the end of the day is key. It's very important. So embracing darkness is good to become powerful, but it comes with challenges. It's going to be hard. You're going to find yourself alone. You're going to feel like you're not a human being anymore, no matter what people say around you. We're all the same. We're all love. We're all oneness. We're all unity consciousness. We're all the same. That's what weak people want you to believe, that we're all the same. No one is the same. If we're all the same, how come we have all different fingerprints? How come there's not a similar person to, to another that have the same fingerprints? Are we really all the same? It's another religious dogma that people want to feed you so you can be the same as them. But if you want, to be like everyone else. If that gives you happiness, if you feel comfy and fluffy and fuzzy and warm by being with other people who are exactly the same because, hey, religion and new age, that's what they want to make you believe, that everybody's the same, that we're all the same. Might, might as well, let's all have the same name. How come we don't have the same name? Why do we even have names? Why do we have even different families and different... Why don't we just... Why don't we just like all have the same thing and make it a communist society? It's like communism. Communism says everything and everyone should have the same thing. So a lot of uh, contradictions, a lot of controversy, a lot of hypocrisy, we're all the same. But we have different names. We have different fingerprints. You make $10 million per year, and I only make $30,000 per year, huh? But we're all the same. We're all the same. Everyone is the same, of course. We're all one thing. But deep inside is that misery that's lingering and eating you alive, and everybody's hiding it and suppressing it because they want to show their soul family that they're all the same. Embracing your darkness is going to make you realize your true nature, who you truly are, that you're not the same, that you're not like everybody else, that you're very different. And that's going to make you feel alone. And you're going to become by yourself. But are you willing to do so? Those are the challenges. But for me, these are not challenges anymore. They were when I was weak. When I was weak, they were challenges. When I became powerful, for me, they are blessings because they allow me to reach new horizons of existence that I have never perceived before, at least as a human being. So it's up to you. Do you want the power or do you want to be like the rest? You choose. It's up to you. Embracing darkness is something amazing. And I'm going to keep talking about it and promoting it because it is necessary only for the people who are ready for it. And if you're ready for it, you will know. And you're probably watching this video. It means you're ready. Thank you very much. Let me know in the comments section. What do you think about embracing darkness and what have you experienced after you started embracing your darkness? Thank you. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.